Hi, it's Craig Haskell, author of Syndication Wealth, and I'm also founder of the Value Hunt Academy, where we teach you how to how to raise money to syndicate those those great deals you find. So, I want to talk to you about the most important thing that you need in your business. So, I want to welcome you to this video on the secrets to creating a persuasive pitch book that attracts investors. And guys, this is a topic that I am I'm immensely passionate about. I just I just believe in it so much that I want to spend some time talking about it, okay? And so you might be asking, well, why is that, Craigie boy? Well, let me answer that question with a question. So why do you think so many people are trying to raise money but are struggling? Why? Hmm? Think about all the folks who would love to, to have a pile of money to buy all those great deals that they come across. Right? Why are they struggling to get started? Or think about this. Why do many new syndicators fail to raise money to close their deals? Well, I want to talk about this. Some people are getting it right, but most are not. And I've noticed that people are doing the wrong things. Yeah, they're doing the wrong things. Don't you want to do the right things? Don't you want to do it the right way? Raise money? Of course you do. And it's easy if you know how to do it. But first, let me show you the wrong way to do it. Okay, so what's the number one reason, whether you're new or you're, you're experienced, syndicator, what's the number one reason syndicators fail? Think about it. Now, if you're a Value Hound member, you're probably going to know the answer to this. But survey says, number one reason syndicators fail is because they're chasing rabbits all over the place. Come on. Think about where you are right now. Are we chasing rabbits? Hmm? Yeah, we are. And because of that, we don't have any focus. And because we don't have any focus on what it is we're doing, we don't have any confidence in what we're doing. We lack the confidence. We don't have a plan. We don't have a system or a process to follow. We're flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> we're just running all over the place trying to catch something Right? So I ask you, are you chasing rabbits? Whatever it is you're doing in your, in your, in your business life, your personal life, are you chasing rabbits? Well, I think you agree it's a big problem, a big problem. New syndicators who are trying to raise money have no focus. They have no focus. And you know what? People without focus only get tired from running all over the place. They never get going. And if they do, they usually fail. So you need focus. So here's another big reason, a huge reason actually, new syndicators fail. They find that they need to go out and find a deal first before before they have a pool of investors ready to invest. They have no process. They skip phase one of the money raising process entirely. And because of this, it creates lots of fears and roadblocks to raising money. They don't have the confidence because they don't have the process. So here's what many new syndicators do when trying to raise money to syndicate their deals. They spend all their time searching for a deal. A deal that they kind of stumble across because they probably chasing rabbits, right? They didn't know specifically what they're looking for, but they found a deal that they think pencils. So, they contract for the property. They put it on a contract. They tie it up. 
That's what they do. That's that's what they think. They got to have a deal. Let's put it on contract, and then we're going to go out and try and, and raise money. And you know what? They're stressed out because they've got limited time on their contract to go out and find those investors so they can put their syndication together. I mean, think about when you got started or, or you, how you see this process. Did you think you needed to go out and find a deal first before you had the money lined up? Hmm? Is this a process that you saw? And I'd say you probably did because if you're like 99% of the syndicators that I speak with, that's how they see the program. That's how they see the process. You have to have a deal before you find investors. That's what most people think. Well, you just started in phase two. This is phase two. Of the process, of the money raising process. You forgot phase one. And that's why we're different. We actually start in phase one. That's right, phase one. Phase one, that's, that's where we start because that's all about building your pool of investors. Before you start looking for a deal to buy, because if you have some excited investors that like what you're doing, you start to pool investors. You start to cultivate them before finding a deal. And if you do this, it'll increase your chance of success in phase number two, right here. So the process is, step one is build your pool of investors. And then we're going to go over here. Once we have enough investors, we feel like excited about what we're doing. We're going to go to step two. Find the deal. And then we're going to go down here. Let's see step two. And then we're going to go down here to step three, and we're actually going to raise the money. I mean, can you see how much easier it would be if you had investors lined up and if you followed this process? Your pool of investors are waiting for you to give you money and you can quickly raise money. You're not stressed out through the entire process. So you need a money raising process to follow step by step. It's easy. So we've learned that we're not going to chase rabbits, right? We're going to focus on one rabbit. We're going to build our syndication business around that one rabbit, at least in the early stages. That's going to be our expertise. That's our expertise. So what do we need to do? We need to create a game plan. We need to create a game plan on how we're going to bag that one rabbit. So let me walk you through a fishing story, a fishing plan, fishing for investors or fishing for deals. Right? So uh, let's say that we start with the typical syndicator fishing trip. We're in Arizona. So let's say we're, we're in Arizona. So let's say we're going to have a lake here, a lake here, a lake here, a lake here, and a lake here. Let's call this one here Blue Lake. Let's keep it simple here. Red Lake. I don't know, orange, sound like a good flavor. Uh, let's call Black Lake. And then finally, let's call it uh, Green Lake. These are all Arizona lakes. Right? And so the typical syndicator fishes for all, all the lakes at all the time. They're just going out there fishing, trying to catch fish. They don't really have any specialized knowledge of a specific lake. They don't have any, any deep knowledge on a specific fish that they're trying to catch. They don't have a real strategy to catch fish. They don't have a plan. They don't have any focus. Oh, yeah, they have a shotgun approach. They're out there trolling for any kind of fish that'll bite or just dropping their line in the water and hoping for the best. 
That's the wrong way. If you want to catch a lot of fish, if you want to find great deals, if you want to bag a lot of investors, that's the wrong way. So let's look at the, the right way. Let's look at the wealthy syndicator fishing trip. And really, the wealthy syndicators are going to pick a lake to specialize in, right? They're going to pick a lake. And so let's call this uh, Blue Lake. That's the lake they're going to specialize in. They're going to specialize in this one lake here in Arizona. And they're going to know it better than anything else. So we kind of draw a lake and we got some land in here. And here's kind of the shores. Right? And so that's going to be their specialty, Blue Lake. And so they need a type of fish they're going to go after. They're going to go after bass. That's what we're going to go after. And they're going to have a unique strategy to catch that fish because they have focus. They have focus. They're expert fishermen. They know where in the lake they're going to fish. They know where exactly where they're going to drop the line. They know at this maybe on this shore right here, at a certain time of day, this is the best time to catch fish. They're going to know the best weather conditions. They're going to know the right hook to, bait to, uh, to bring. They're going to know the right bait to bring. What do you need to have in your fishing box? All that stuff that they're going to know because they're specialists. And I got to tell you, raising money is all about telling our fishing story that we went, went through right here. And our fishing story is we're expert fishermen. We're specialists. And, and we're going to describe our fishing trip to our investors. What's our process to catch fish? How are we going to catch the fish? What's our secret formula, our unique hook, and our bait? And actually, the way we're going to tell our story that I just went through is using our pitch book. Our pitch book. So let me ask you, you want to learn the right way to raise money? Sure you do. So um, here's the right way. You're looking at it right here to raise money. You got to have focus in your business. You need to create a pitch book. You got to create a business plan, your, your game plan, your game plan to go out and catch fish. And so you need a tool, something you can use to show people that you have a plan on what lake you're going to fish in, what fish you're trying to catch, and how you're going to catch that. How are you going to do that? What's your strategy to catch fish? And you, right there, you, you can see you're looking at the cover of my pitch book, and my pitch book. Uh, really is an informational package about my fishing trip. It's a story on how I'm going to make money with my investors. The lake I'm fishing in is Arizona, Nevada, and I also fish in California. The fish I'm trying to catch are middle market underperforming apartment buildings. And actually my strategy to catch those fish is to reposition properties to, to the rapidly growing Hispanic market. I actually use a community lifestyle approach where I add these unique features and services and I put in some amenities to our properties. I actually take old tennis courts and turn them into soccer fields. My entire pitch book is built around this game plan. Now, when I present this game plan to my investors, they gain confidence in me and what I'm doing because I have a plan. I have focus. And this is the way you raise money. This is the right way to raise money. Now, earlier I spoke about building a pool of investors, right? When we talked about, you know, the, the process to go through. Uh, and, and this is real important because this is the first step in the process. You're going you're to put together this pitch book and you're going to go out and get people excited. So it's real important, probably the most important part of this whole process and the very background, backbone of your syndication business is this first step. And it's the most important, uh, important step to building investors. So what I want to do is I want to quickly walk you through the process to building your pool of investors. And so remember we said we were going to start in phase one. So let's let's break down phase one. Phase one was building your pool of investors, right? That's the that's the process. There's actually four steps to that process. Uh, and the first thing you're going to do, like I just mentioned, is you're going to create your pitch book, right? You're going to create a pitch book around your investor strategy. How are you going to make money for investors, right? 
So you're going to build your pitch book around that. And then you're going to build your list of potential investors. You're going to dig in your contacts. You're going to create a list of people that you think might like to invest in the, your real estate or might want to invest with you. Next, you're going to conduct investor meetings. You're going to go out and meet people on your list. You're going to talk to them about your pitch book. You're going to get them excited. And that takes us to the next step. You're going to build your investor database. The ones that are excited about your business plan and what it is you're, uh, you're going to do to make money for them, they're going to go in your database. So that when you find a deal, you have somebody that's excited about what you're doing. You already have a pool of investors that are excited about what you're doing. Ultimately, you're setting your investors up. They, in a sense, get teased. When you find a great deal, you set them up. You'll be able to say, hey, remember that great strategy we talked about in my pitch book? Well, I finally found the perfect deal for us to load the boat. I got to say, if you follow this process, you'll make the money raising process much easier and much quicker and safer. You'll know where the money's coming from to close your deal. You're not going to stress out. So as you go through this process, you're really in no rush to follow this process, but you got to follow this process. It's real important. So let me ask you, want to learn the right way to raise money? Well, I've got an intensive training and coaching program that I want to talk to you about. And it's called The Secrets to Creating a Persuasive Pitch Book that Attracts Investors. Now, this is a complete program, guys, where you get both training and coaching. You have everything you need to be successful in this program. Ultimately, my goal is for you to have one badass pitch book that blows investors away. I want them to smell the huge opportunity to make money with you. They're going to get excited about your investment strategy and your committed focus. They're going to see that to your strategy. But the first thing that you need is training. I mean, how do you create a persuasive pitch book? What important things go into that pitch book? Huh? What makes a pitch book attract investors? So let me walk you through the four modules in the training program. In the first module, understanding the basics of a pitch book. What the heck is a pitch book anyways? Well, you're going to learn what a pitch book is. We're going to cover the three things a pitch book does and why. You're going to learn why you need to create a pitch book. It's important. Why are you going to do that? I've kind of given you a, a, a taste sample in this video, but you're going to go deeper into the four reasons why you must have a pitch book. This is a must, guys. This is a must. And next, what are the cr uh, critical persuasive elements of a killer pitch book? Hmm? Well, you're going to learn how to create and tell a focused, sticky story. What's a sticky story anyways? You're going to learn that. What's the, what's the goal of a pitch book? You're going to learn the goal of a pitch book and how it fits into the actual money raising process. You're going to learn that. And then lastly, you're going to learn the best time to start creating your pitch book. And you might be surprised to learn when that is. So let's talk about module two, how to structure a pitch book. You're going to learn the things that go into a pitch book and why you're going to put those things in there. You're going to learn why structuring your pitch book is important to your success. There's a formula. Yeah. There's a reason why a successful pitch book is laid out. It's not haphazard. You got to follow this formula. And then you're going to learn the framework and the actual anatomy of what goes into a pitch book. There are actually 10 must items that you need to have in your pitch book and they're laid out in a certain way. And the reason they, we do that is because it has more impact. You got to learn that formula. 
It's, I mean, it's one thing to have a pitch book, but it's entirely another thing to have a winning pitch book. That sells. You need this formula, guys. You need this formula. Now, in Module 3, Packaging Your Pitch Book, you're going to learn how to make your pitch book look professional and easy to read. I mean, confused minds always say no. Think about it. If you don't understand something, you're confused and you always turn off. You say no to it. So we need to make sure we communicate through our pitch book in a pleasing and easy to read manner. So you're going to learn how to package up your pitch book the right way. And part of your package is organization. You're going to learn how to organize your pitch book so that your, your readers understand the message that you're actually conveying in the pitch book. You don't want your readers confused like you just talked about. Question for you. Did you know that 80% of book sales are based solely on the book cover? Yeah. People buy based on the packaging. If it looks good, it's got to taste good, right? This is a reality, guys. We need our pitch books to look like a million bucks. We got to have a million dollar package. So you're going to learn how to design and lay out that pitch book. How to make it sexy, so to speak. You're going to learn how to do that. And then you're going to learn some big mistakes that many, many make and how to avoid these mistakes. Now in module four, winning pitch book strategies, you're actually going to learn the secret sauce. Really, this is the formula to a successful pitch book. You're going to learn why you need a unique strategy that solves a big problem in a big market. Think about that for a second. A big problem in a big market. What problem is your investment strategy solving? And you know what? This makes all the difference. For example, let me give an example. Let's say we have a big problem. There's lack of housing for baby boomers. That's a biggie, right? Baby boomers like 80 million that are retiring. And it's one of the biggest demographics going forward. And so our solution, we might have a solution to that problem with our real estate investments in that we're going to reposition apartments to the active senior housing market. And your pitch book is going to focus solely on this investment strategy because investors see this problem, right? It's a big problem in the marketplace. In fact, they might be part of the problem and you're the solution. You've just solved a big problem in a big market. And you're going to learn a lot of strategies that you can use in this module that I've come up with. I've went out and found some of the problems and given you some of the solutions. And you can just take them right out of the course. This is in module four. And from that, you're going to learn how to make your message sticky. Sticky. We talked about it before. You're going to learn a formula that I came up with. It's called the SIS strategy, S-I-S-S -S strategy, along with you're going to get 12 things that, that really matter to investors. These, these are big guys because this is what matters to investors. This is what they're looking for. So you want to talk in their language. So we're going to go through that in this module. Okay. And then next, how do you brand your pitch book? Hmm? You're going to learn how to tell the story about who you are and what you stand for. That becomes your brand. And then finally, you're going to learn other ways to leverage your pitch book. It's just not for investors. There's other people out there that are part of this game that you're going to use your pitch book for that's going to help get, build your credibility and help move your business forward. And so I actually had a coaching client get a loan, mainly just because he had this badass pitch book that solved a huge problem in a, in a big market. And you're going to learn other ways that you can use your pitch book to advance and grow your business. I just give you an example right there. So let's review the pitch book intensive training program. Okay, you get all four modules to help you create a persuasive pitch book that attracts investors. And in these four modules, you're going to learn the basics of a pitch book. Why you need a pitch book. How you're going to structure your pitch book so it has all the right stuff. And then you're going to learn how to package all that up into a sexy pitch book that has an awesome winning strategy that blows investors away. That's what you're going to learn in this program. That's what you're going to learn. You can watch the training videos. You can listen to the MP3 audio files. You can read all the transcripts. But if it were me, I'd watch, I'd listen, and I'd read all the material many times over so that I can get the sense, I can get the concept into my mind. You need me looking over your shoulder, watching what you're doing, watching how you're doing it. So I'm going to critique your pitch book. And having reviewed hundreds of pitch books and working with my coaching clients who 
have used my program successfully, I know it works. In fact, I know it doesn't work. When you build your pitch book, I want to make sure you produce successful work product. So I'm going to critique your work product. I'm going to critique your pitch book so that you have a great pitch book that persuades investors. And as you can see right there on your screen, this is the first draft of a typical student pitch book. This might be your pitch book. And there's numerous tips and ideas that I gave the student in critiquing this pitch book, as you can read right there. This student didn't have a good tagline, didn't have a good photo that had wow, that supported his investment strategy. It didn't have an investment strategy that teases the reader to want more. It didn't have a plan. It didn't have focus where the investors actually see how they're going to make money. And so I'm going to actually spend a couple hours going through your pitch book in great detail and help you come up with the right pitch book that gets results because I've, I've been there. I've done that. I've done tons of pitch books. I know what works and I know what doesn't work. So I'm going to make sure your pitch book is awesome so that you can get a pile of investors. As I said before, you need me inside your business and helping you create your pitch books. It's that simple. Remember this? Well, this was a pretty good start by a student. Hey, they got the first draft done, right? More than most. So with my coaching and mentoring, I'm going to be able to help you create a badass pitch book. Let me show you. Look at this guy's pitch book. We got on a webinar call together where it was actually live and we worked together to take this and turn it into a winning pitch book because you saw what it looked like before and we turned it into this. I was right there, right there with him. This pitch book has focus. Focus on one investment strategy. This pitch book looks very professional. This pitch book will get investors excited about your plan. Get them excited about your focus. You need me inside your business and helping you create your pitch book. And to get this program, all you have to do is on your screen right there, you see that button, right? That button is on this page. A button that looks like this. Do you see it on this page? Yeah? All you got to do is click that button, right? That's all you got to do to get in this program, okay? So I hope you find the courage. I hope you find the determination to join this program. Once you go through this program, the light's going to come on for you. And that's true. Yeah, I mean, like everybody, almost everybody tells me when they get through this program, they finally get it. The light comes on for them because they're focused. So I'm looking forward to working with you and take your business to the next level. Go ahead, go for it, and reach for the stars. <laughs>